I'm back. Officially back. July 1st. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to My Loves Death Metal. Uh, it has been 18 days since I last posted my video. As I said in that video, I was going to take a couple weeks off, a little bit of a mental health break, and then also I was going on vacation with my family in Maine, uh, so I didn't want to post anything while I was there. had no intentions of uploading while I was there, so it was a nice break. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have any intentions of doing videos every single day like I was the last five months. Uh, taking this break made me realize how much I enjoyed not having to think about what video I was going to upload every single day. Um, I'm done doing that. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to do this whenever I feel like it. No consistent upload schedule anymore. Just going to pop the camera on when I feel like showing off a record that I got or talk about a new album that came out or whatever else gets planned in the interim. Uh, I think that's officially what kind of killed it for me is that I tried to make this like a daily thing and I don't want to do that anymore. It just burned me out. Plus I got really tired of, of dealing with a lot of the, the troll comments and just the overall people who are just act like this is the only thing that matters in the world very strange very strange thing um so yeah it was nice to take a break but i'm back now i've got several records that i've gotten in the last couple of weeks i, I got home officially from maine yesterday and had a couple of uh, records sitting in my post office box that were delivered while i was gone and then the other two records i actually had had for a little while now i just haven't shown them off yet so i figured let's start doing the collection updates for the record rebuilding my collection updates, as everybody knows um rebuilding my vinyl collection i should say as everybody knows um that's something i'm doing now uh so you're going to see a lot of vinyl collection updates on here i'm really excited to do that uh, it's going to be very slow going um it's not going to be like how it was where I was doing like three or four of those a week, like not even close. So the, the upload cadence here might be twice a week. I don't know yet. I haven't officially decided, but I don't want to go away completely. Uh, I'm just going to ease back into this again and then just, you know, do the thing. I tried to make this like a a, a second form of, of like not job, but just try to make it do it every single day. I just can't do it. I can't do it. It's not it's not it's not my thing. Um so in moderation, I think I just burned myself out there for a while. So let's go ahead and get started. Four new records that I got into my collection. Two came last week while I was out on vacation, and the other two I got about almost a month ago. Um, one of them, one of my best friends, his name is Kylie. He's been my friend for about 20 years now. He's also a vinyl collector, also a huge death metal head. Um, sent me a spare copy of a record that he had in his collection. He said, hey... Uh, I know that you recently sold this, but I, I purchased one of the new reissues uh, specifically for you to have in your collection. It was a bit of a gift. Um, my birthday is this Friday, so it was kind of like an early birthday gift. Um, so, and that is Cattle. I don't think I need to talk about this album at all. This is the newest uh, Metal Blade, I think, European reissue. Um, so, funny enough, I bought this through... Uh, did I get this through Blast Beats? I bought this through Blast Beats and then he sent me a copy too. So I have two of these copies. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give away another one uh, to do a tradesies with a friend who might want this. But so, yeah, this is the new European reissue that just came out fairly recently. They reissued this Death Atlas and um, in, in the Monolith of Inhumanity. God, I can't can't freaking talk here so i've shown this off like several times on here but i did sell my original version of this killed me a little bit inside but i had the cd so i was okay with that but now i'm getting gonna gonna get a couple of these cattle decapitation records back in my collection not the whole entire series because again i have them all on cd um and i'm not going crazy here like i said for the vinyl collection uh but it's this is the the coloring of it it's like this i don't know what they call it um pretty cool i'm sure you can see that in the camera uh so this is one of my favorite albums by them and i'll probably be getting this death atlas and then monolith of inhumanity again uh, and then probably call it a day from there um i already have terracite as i showed you guys in a previous video uh and then of course it comes with the big poster of the album cover which i actually kind of want to frame this and hang it officially uh, i love this this poster and then it's a gatefold it's just similar to all the other issues that have come out previously they just reissued these finally for people who were begging for them uh so these can be found just about anywhere i think for the most part they've sold out 
Um, but I think if you go to the Metal Blade European site, they still have them in stock. Um, this is limited to 500 copies worldwide. So, yeah. I love this album. So, I'm happy I have it back in my collection. I spun it this morning. It is bright and early before work. Um, like I said, we just got back from Maine last night. So, I'm exhausted today. So, my energy level is a little bit lower than usual. Uh, and the sun is kind of in a weird position right now. So, the lighting is really weird in here. But I'm trying to get the video up before I have to start work get back into the grind so that's the first record that i recently got and then the next one i recently got i snagged this um did i get this through iron fortress i don't remember but i snagged this like a little bit over a month ago the new Sivorous album maze envy as you guys know i have it on tape but i this is one of my favorite records this year i absolutely love it so i wanted to get a wax treatment of it as well into the collection so i figured i would show this off 20 bucks spin second full-length album here you go i've talked about this several times on here already uh printed inner sheet there's the band and then it's got the purple flooding on the jacket which is a nice little touch i'm glad that they're doing that they don't do it for every release but i noticed the last couple that i've gotten like the slime war one is awesome um and then this is uh, what is this? B2 Ultra Clear Royal Blue and Deep Purple Tri-Color Galaxy. So it's the B2 variant. Um, and it's, Galaxy is a stretch. It, it kind of just looks like purple clear or whatever. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, I don't care about that too much. So I'm pretty sure I, did I snag this from Iron Fortress? I can't remember. Um, so yeah, love this album. Amazing amazing death doom album one of my favorite releases to come out this year and on that note i we are doing the like mid-year our favorite album so far to come out this year on heavy metallurgy like we did last year with simon uh, marty and alan that is coming up in a couple of weeks and you will definitely see this on that list very high up there i absolutely love this album so much it's such a phenomenal album very somber violins oh i did a whole video on it so go back check it out um, and then the next one is a brand new release that came out, I don't know, like what, a week or two ago. I can't remember what the official date was. Um, it's funny because I had the promo for way over a month before the official release date. So then I forget about the release dates because to me, in my mind, it's already out. I've already heard it. Um, June 28th is when this came out. One of my most anticipated releases this year. I've been super pumped about it. And I, again, I've had the promo for a while, so I've already listened to it for, several weeks now but i was excited to get the physical release in and that is the new 200 stab wounds album manual manic procedures metal blade records so yeah i was planning on doing a whole entire review video on this but i just don't feel like it um let's just cut to the chase here i think it's a great album i absolutely love it to the point of where when i did the pre-order i also got the cd uh so i can play it in my car i like to I like to play cds in my car it's a very nostalgic feeling um, so second full length album, their first full length came out on Maggot Stomp a while back and then they signed the Metal Blade, Metal Blade got the, the rights and started reissuing that album as well. Um, and I've just, I'm a huge fan of this band, uh, Ohio death metal band, um, younger guys, uh, very fun, energetic. They put on a, a really, really fun show. Um, a lot of people dog on this band. I'm not too sure why. Um, I think... They're phenomenal. This has been one of my favorite death metal, newer death metal bands to come out in the last several years. I was such a huge fan of their EP that came out, Piles of Festering Decomposition, that was also on Maggot Stomp, and that was back in 2020. Uh, so I fucking love this album. I think it's phenomenal. It's a good progression from their first album. It's fun. It's got great riffs. It's full of riffs. Um, the only the only complaint that I have is it's a little bit of a shorter album. Some of the songs are a little bit shorter than I would like. It's a 29 minute long album. So that's kind of a stretch on a full length album there. Um, and like the longest song on here is four minutes. So it leaves me wanting more. Uh, that's for sure. That's probably my, my biggest complaint. But overall, it is definitely a very positive progression from their first record. A little bit more mature songwriting, better guitar riffs. Uh, the vocals are killer. Just everything about it I really enjoy. So this is definitely going to be a top contender for me for this year for death metal. I mean, that's not, should not be a surprise whatsoever. Everybody knows I love this band. Um, so gatefold, all of the lovely imagery here. And then 
Was there a printed inner sheet? Uh, no, there wasn't, but there was a digital download. So pause it, snag it. Uh, again, I'm not going to edit this out. So if you watch this video like two weeks from now, a year from now, this is probably already claimed. So don't get pissed at me in the comments. Just know if you're watching this, chances are somebody claimed it. Uh, but yeah, I like that the Metal Blade still does this. I like that they signed the album cover. Someday I'll like maybe frame these and make a collage of them because I have them all still from like almost every Metal Blade release that I've gotten in the last like five or six years. Um, so yeah, it's a gay fold. And then here's the back. Um, phenomenal record. Again, I, this was long awaited. I've been really pumped about this. Uh, the album artwork is done by do, 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 um, Grant Hatfield or Filth Effigy if you follow him on Instagram or on social media. I like that artwork. I, it's, I mean, what else do you want me to say? Uh, I think the 200 Stab Wounds logo, uh, you know, I, they did what they could to make it stand out. Maybe, maybe made that a different color. I don't know, but that's my only criticism. But otherwise, the artwork is simply phenomenal. And then I got the liquefied variant red or yellow with red splatter. Um, I think this is like one of the... U.S. copies, like the popular ones, so there you go. Looks good. I like it. Goes well with the the album. Sounds phenomenal. I I spun this yesterday when we got home. I spun it this morning when I got up. I'm gonna spin it again today. And then the CD is just you know similar to the record. There you go. And then the booklet is literally everything that you just saw on the gatefold. There's nothing new about the CD. This was an accidental buy. I forgot that I had it pre-ordered on Amazon. Never canceled the order after I got the record when I um, was able to pre-order the record. And then this came while I was gone. And I was like, wait, what did I get from Amazon? And I was like, all right. So I'm just going to keep it, whatever, 13 bucks. Uh, going to put it in the car. Also, I still have their other album on CD too. So, uh, But I told myself I am not going to buy multiple formats of things this year that is not a thing i'm doing anymore so this was the only exception to that rule uh because it was simply an accident <laughs> um i probably could have just returned the cd uh but again not that big of a deal so again super pumped love this album happy i have it filthy filthy nasty everything you can expect from there and then finally the last thing to show you guys today what what are we at 12 minutes nice um is Poof, an album that took me by surprise. I was not even the biggest fan of this band until this album. To be honest with you, their last album didn't do much for me, and that is the new Ulcerate album, Cutting the Throat of God, on Deborah Morty Productions. Um, so their last album, Stare Into Death and Be Still, was a really big grower on me. It didn't do much for me when it came out that year. I think I, I bought it on CD. I showed it off on here and talked about that. Um, and over the years, it just is not something that I would pop on very often or listen to until this album came out. Um, what day was it? Was this also June 28th? June 14th. So this has been out for a while, a couple of weeks now. When this came out, I listened to it and I'm like, okay, it like clicked with me immediately. And that other album didn't. So when I went back and listened to their previous album, that immediately clicked with me. So this just must be the mood that I'm in right now. So if you're not familiar with the band, they're from New Zealand. This is their one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh full length album. I am only familiar with Staring to the Path and Be Still. I have not listened to their other albums yet. Uh, and that is something that I'm planning on doing. Um, however, this band is exhausting and it takes it, it takes a lot out of you to, to listen to their albums, I'll be honest with you. It's a very heavy um, and dense album. And that's probably why I wasn't too into their last album because I wasn't in the mood for it. Uh, but it's very got it's got a very avant-garde, technical, dissonant death metal feel. It's rather suffocating and it can be exhausting, but it is phenomenal. I absolutely love this album. Um, it's again, it's it's a lot to digest. The songs are very long. Uh, the shortest song in here is seven minutes and seven seconds. Everything else is longer than that. Um, so it's very it's a lot to digest. It's a lot to go on. Like I said, it's very dissonant. It's very suffocating. Similar to the last album. It's got very technical riffs written into it. Um, and it just captivated me when I heard it. Uh, just the tonality of the guitars I absolutely love. 
Um, I will say that some of those guitar riffs can be rather repetitive in sound the same throughout this whole entire album. That's probably my only criticism of it. Uh, but for the most part, it's just, it's a journey to listen to. It's so good. Um, and this has just taken me, I couldn't believe how much I loved this album when I first heard it. And I've been listening to it a lot. It's definitely one of those albums that I think that I would have to be in the right mood for. However, I have not felt that way since it's come out. I've been able to listen to it whenever I put it on, just uh, beginning to end. So it's got a nice spot gloss uh, with a matte finish on the, the record. Same on the back. So really nice. Deborah Mamorti always presses great records. I've never had any issues with them. Always great quality. Uh, here's the gatefold with liner notes. And then who plays what in the band. Um, black flooding on the inside of the gatefold. And then it also comes with a nice insert here. Nice little insert bifold booklet of the lyrics very very thick cardstock very nice um so and then this is i don't know what variant this is i have the the other it's a it's a double a uh, double lp the other lp is currently on my uh, turntable because i was listening to it last night before i went to bed um but it is like this red and black galaxy when you put it down the platter it just looks like a plain black record um but when you put it up to the light you see that red in black galaxy figuring in there so i don't know what variant this was it was just i ordered this through indie merch that's the u.s distributor for deborah Mormorty. um the post office actually lost this uh and i didn't think i was ever gonna see it again went on vacation came back it was it was sitting there so they found it I don't know, it took like four weeks to get, it took like three weeks to get this because they were shipping this a, a week early before the release too um so yeah phenomenal record I'm glad I bought it. This is definitely going to be a favorite this year for sure. Um, I've been spinning it nonstop. Every single song is, is phenomenal. It, it really just, again, my only criticism is it's a very dense album. So you might not get into it right away. It might take several listens. It might be a strong grower on you. Um, and also some of like just the overall guitar riffs um, in just some of the songs kind of blend together. They sound a little bit similar. Um, but when you listen to it, you start to distinguish what those songs are and you get to know it more. So again, it's a grower. That's probably my only criticism on it. But again, I went back and listened to their last album now. So now I'll be probably getting that in the collection soon. Uh, they're expensive records. This was 40 bucks. So ugh, I don't like spending that much money on records, but for this, it was worth it. And again, I had pre-ordered it after I listened to it fully. And that is what I'm doing now is listening to the album before I decide to buy it. Uh, I got lucky with 200 stabbings because I got the promo, so that was a no-brainer. But yeah, good stuff. Um, I know a lot of people are very hit or miss with this band. They do, either don't like them or they just love them. I get it. Totally understand the criticism across the board of what people think about them and why they don't like them. So I, I understand that as well. So I can understand that. But for me, this is the record that got me into this this band for sure. So great stuff that is everything that i've added to the collection of my my vinyl collection all awesome albums just uh, been spinning these non-stop so slowly the collection will be growing um i do have several new tapes and cds that i've gotten in um i'll do a different video on those um those i'm still frequently buying those because you know I don't want to stop collecting tapes. I love collecting tapes. And CDs are like the new thing that I like to collect now too. So just kind of going slow here. Um, but I got those in about the week that I stopped beside recording. I, I just didn't show them off yet. So I haven't gotten anything new in um, past these two records, three records that I got in the mail last week. Um, I think I have some new stuff coming in. I pre-ordered. Oh yeah, I have one pre-order that's coming. Uh, so that's next week. So I I don't know when the next video will be up. I'm definitely going to do a tape and CD video this week, probably towards the end of the week. Um, and then for the vinyl collection, I don't know. As soon as I get like three or four that I can show off, I'll record a video. Um, and that's all I have. Happy to be back. Uh, don't think I missed much. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one.